This award symbolizes that all missions across this wing are successfully executed at the highest level with pride, professionalism, and patriotism. The happy hooligans have a history, a culture, an attitude, and a habit of excellence. With their Reaper mission, what we're doing in the nuclear fields, and the new ISRG mission, we are more relevant right now to our homeland security into the war fight than I believe we have ever been in our history. We got a call from Cass County Dispatch about a homeowner needing some sandbags. We arrived on scene, assessed their situation, noticed that they could use a couple extra hands, so we volunteered to help them fill in their culvert and get their water situation under control. Joining the military is all about helping out your community in whatever way you possibly can. Just trying to help out. I mean, this is, this is what I like doing. So on behalf of the Air National Guard Readiness Center and all the state units, 9,000 Air National Guard civil engineer members, I want to thank you and congratulate you for 119th for being the best Air National Guard civil engineer. It's really about being both relevant and ready. Not all units have the capabilities that we have here in Fargo. We're the best at putting all those pieces together and, uh, and getting the end result. Through the sky is the limit with this thing. We're going to keep going and pushing forward. Everything that we've done shows that we're the tip of the spear. It's about readiness and about being the best in our profession. Colonel Huber is promoted to the grade of Brigadier General, United States Army, by orders of the Secretaries of the Army and the Air Force. He strikes me as a man that's uh, all about getting the mission done, all about training his airmen, uh, and the right guy at the right time to lead this organization into the future. The 119th Intelligence Surveillance Reconnaissance Group announced the achievement of full operational capability. We're now able to fully support any global combatant commander with any kind of mission that they would deem as necessary in the targeting enterprise. The North Dakota National Guard's Woodrow W. Keeble Jess We Pray I Am Ready Award is appropriately named after Master Sergeant Woodrow Wilson Woody Keeble. It's great for us to be among the community. Uh, it's good to, to, as a way for us to get back to them and show them what we can do, and uh, it's, it's good to interact with them. Southern Strike's been going on for the last eight years. We've uh, deployed the MQ-9 from uh, North Dakota to Mississippi. This uh, whole exercise is the first time that we've done this, so everyone's uh, really pumped up to do this. The 141 MEB uh, deployed to Romania, did a wet gap crossing of the uh, Danube River. The coordination, execution of the deployment and redeployment is phenomenal. The training was real world and exceptional experience. So the leadership and the soldiers of the 191, uh, just thank you for an awesome job with incredible dedication, incredible professionalism. Um, and I couldn't be more proud of the job you, uh, you did while you were over there. You cannot get the mission done without our people. The people are the most important resource in this organization. But empower people is what we're about, improving lives, 
you all are an example for the rest of North Dakota. Citizen airmen, citizen soldiers, taking on the challenge and when called upon to help people out. With uh, what you do every day, I think you inspire uh, those around you and I think you inspire the people in North Dakota.